Welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna go and do like a grunge fall look. Um, I figured I would use the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Bling Gloss Palette. Um, if you haven't seen it already, it looks like this. It has purpley shades and like um, a little bit darker plum shades, which is gonna be perfect for this look and my lovely sweater. Um, it is officially kind of gotten a lot, a lot colder here in the state of Arizona, which I'm not happy about, but your girl can't complain. I get to wear these cute little sweaters and stuff, and um, I get to wear my boots, which I love. So without further ado, let's just jump into this video. Cheers. That is root beer with um, Jim Bean vanilla in it. It's pretty good. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna go ahead and start off with is we're gonna use the e.l.f. Camel Concealer in light peach, and we are gonna go ahead and put this all over our eyelids, like so. And we're gonna go ahead and put that to the side. And then using a wet beauty blender, you're just going to want to go ahead and pat that out. Like so. Okay, now that that is done, you're going to go ahead and take some translucent powder and you're going to go ahead and set that concealer. And I'm just using the Rimmel Stay Matte London Translucent Powder. And it's gonna look like that. So then what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and move on to the eyes. We're gonna go ahead and grab a um, basic beauty brush and it looks like this. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do is we are gonna start off with the Hush Hush shade, which is this one right here. We're gonna go ahead and pick that up. And we're gonna put that all over our eyes. And then going in with the Morphe M37, I mean M573 brush, we're gonna go ahead and pick up Rockstar, which is this shade right down here. And when you get it on your brush, it looks like this. That's okay. <clears throat> and then we're gonna go ahead and go in right above here, like so. And we're just gonna go ahead and blend out. And all you're doing is going in circular motions to create the smoky effect. And as you're doing it, you just want to keep blending upwards. So just keep picking up those shades and blending upwards. Like so. And then we're going to go ahead and grab another in with the... Um, Sigma E40 brush, it looks like this. Um, yeah. and we're gonna go in with Sparks. It's gonna be right down here in the um, corner. When you pick it up, it's gonna be, it's gonna almost match my shirt shade. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and plop that right over the top of what you already laid down. And it's gonna go Okay, keep going into that spark shape and keep blending up. Like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and take a 
flat brush. This is the Zora Shader 810 brush. And then we're going to go ahead and pack it on the lid like so. And then taking the first brush that we use, we're going to go ahead and blend up and out. And then keep adding the black until you are satisfied with the, the pigment. So now we're gonna go in with this small Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush, and we're gonna go into Bling Bling. It's gonna be this one right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of that. So, and we're gonna put it up here. We're going to go ahead and take the Smashbox Primer in Photo Finish Smooth and Blur. And we're going to go ahead and put that all over our face. The Fit Me Foundation by Maybelline. We're going to go in with the shade 220. We're going to put a little bit on the back of our hand. Um, this shade is a lot darker for me um, because I really haven't been outside that much for the summertime, but we're gonna go ahead and put that all over our face. And then we're gonna go in with the ColourPop Concealer in the shade Light 10, and we're gonna go ahead and put that underneath. Sorry, the brush broke off in here and I can't get it out, so, you know, that's what that looks like. And then we're gonna go ahead and pat that out. Now that we have that part done, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Translucent Setting Powder. And then we're just going to go ahead and plop some of that on. And then we're going to go ahead and go in with that Mystic Shade from the um, Jaclyn Hill palette. We're going to go ahead and do the bottom lash line. And what we're going to do, and now that we have that part done, we're going to go ahead and go in with the Hollywood and Vine Coal Pencil, and we are going to go ahead and tight line the water. Line. So we're going to go ahead and use the Lunar Angel Lashes. Um, and they're very pretty lashes, so we're just gonna go ahead and pop those on, and then I'll be right back. All right, so now that I have the lashes on and all that good stuff, we're gonna go ahead and go into the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette and Caramel Toffee, and we are gonna go ahead and uh, contour the face. So we're gonna go to take this fluffy brush looks like this. I got this one at Walmart in their Christmas sets a couple years back. We're going to go into the Morphe 8C palette and we're going to go ahead and pick up these two hot and clean shades. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick up the Jaclyn Hill highlighter and we're going to go ahead and use um, Gleam and Sparks together. We're going to go ahead and put those two shades together. So, ooh, so. And then we're going to go ahead and pick up the shade called Nude Mood from Dose of Colors. And we're going to put them up. We're 
I'll go over it with the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick in the color called Suck It. And then we're going to go ahead and use the, the Famous Setting Spray. And that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.